Since 1950, the National Book Awards have celebrated the best books in the United States and helped them reach more readers. And this year's winner is Interior Chinatown by Charles Yu. I feel like I left my body. I, I think just I went completely numb with shock. I definitely spoke from the heart uh, and then also forgot to thank my family who was sitting right next to me and my parents. And that's one thing that I, I found when I, I became a 535 uh, many years ago. Oh, someone's reading my work out there. You know, I had no idea. And then all of a sudden there were people in New York who I felt like in some way I was connected to now. The National Book Foundation has four main pillars that ground our work, awards and honors, education and access, public programs, and then support for the literary field. I am awed by all the ways in which the staff at the National Book Foundation were intrepid and our partners were inspiring and intrepid in continuing to do the important work of connecting readers with books at this time when it mattered more than ever. One of the things Raising Readers does is it encourages families and the children in their lives to approach readings the same and talk about reading and stories in the same way that they would talk about a movie or a sports program that they saw. Prisons and detention facilities have huge barriers to access for books. Literature for Justice was a three-year program designed to have conversations around books that illuminated mass incarceration in our country and that really gave windows into those conversations. Through that, we've continued our partnership with Freedom Reads to bring books to people who are incarcerated in every corner of the country. What I'm excited about is, is digging into the list and finding things that, that we really believe brings, will bring folks some joy and some introspection. I, I do think that freedom begins with a book. And I think sometimes it's, it's easy to forget that. What we're really doing is expanding the community. Book Rich Environments connects children and families living in public housing communities with free, high quality and diverse books. Last year, we were able to give 4,500 books away to our youth. And this year, we have 7,000 books. Being able to uh, allow children to choose books, oftentimes books that have pictures of their likeness and choose any books that they like, as many books as they want, build their own libraries, is really like a gift. The Literary Arts Emergency Fund was created to address a crisis in our sector and to support literary organizations navigating the pandemic. It's a partnership between the National Book Foundation, the Academy of American Poets, and the community of literary magazines and presses, and is supported by the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation. In fall of 2021, we announced that there will be a second round of support, which will distribute $4.3 million in the second round of emergency funding. Books offer us an opportunity, one page at a time, one word at a time, to think about our shared humanity. It's our truth. It's where we can get to places that I think we can't get otherwise. Reading matters because it gives you that independence in your life and control as to what do I want to learn about? How am I going to use what I've learned through that reading experience? It matters. The books that we love aren't just books that we chose for ourselves, it's books that other people chose for us. At a fundamental level, the work of the National Book Foundation is to create a sense of belonging in reading for readers absolutely everywhere and to help readers have extraordinary experiences with books. <laughs> how do people do it? I don't know how people do this. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Have a good day.